Welcome to neutral site action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. He's to the 20, at the 30. Tackle made at the 33-yard line. SMU's offense, a lot of times they can spread things out and they can really be versatile offensively, but when you've got a wide receiver like this, it really helps the coach. Well, it does, and it, and it continues to help with what they're trying to do. They're trying to find matchups, and when you have one player like this that the defense has got to be aware of, they're going to spread you out, try to find the one-on-one -on -one matchup, and if you spend too much time with this one player, they've got some other weapons to make you pay for it. That's the kind of play calling and execution I like to see. Being one-dimensional on first down can really stack the odds against you. It's better to mix it up. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Tackled at about the 27-yard line. Yeah, the defense looked a little sluggish there. They can do better than that. First down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 27. Fires to the wide out. First down. It's complete. Touchdown, SMU. The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. on the extra point. It was a quick three-play, 68-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. So it's second and 13. Ball on the 22. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. He heaves it deep. Can't connect. Let's see if the momentum from that defensive stand carries over to their offense. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. On the 46-yard line, it's second down. SMU is up seven. And he's tackled at about the 39-yard line. 
Nice gain, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Get to that quickly. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. This is a great pitch and catch combination, and they hook up here for a big time game. to his receiver. Touchdown. I like how the quarterback, the offensive line, and the receivers made a concerted effort to get into the end zone. And he converts the extra point. The Mustangs saw one of their top players going down earlier, but it looks like he's going to be able to get back in there. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 35. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. to about the 37-yard line. And he's taken down around the 47-yard line. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. yard line gains his way to the 39 yard line very well designed play that time to give him a first down the linemen executed their blocks nicely and it went for a good game it up the middle for a nice run. That makes it second and six. And down he goes, right around the 32-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. And he throws it away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. He's out of bounds at the 29. Here comes the offense again. They'll try to make it two touchdowns and two possessions. I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And one thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. From their own 29-yard line, second down. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Rosen, watch out. Oh, almost had a pick. Not a good series there throwing the football. Yeah, not what you want to see as a head coach. Three plays and all incomplete.
Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. The Mustangs really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. They need to show a little giddy-up now, because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. He makes it to the 45-yard line. They need to get it inside the 45. He's taken down around the 41-yard line. Nice throw to hit the out route against man coverage for a first down. the stop around the 32-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 23-yard line. From the 23-yard line, first down. So at the end of one, the Mustangs lead 14-0. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set to start the second quarter. Surprising to me that the secondary was in such good position. I thought the play call had him fooled at first, but a nice play by the D. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Quick throw. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 11. the uprights with the extra point. The Mustangs had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. SMU is up a score. Under heavy pressure. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's tackled at the 25-yard line. Tailback. Brought down at the 28-yard line. 
Tackle at the 37. And he gets just a little on the return. That time, the coverage was all over. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. And off to the left. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. One thing the coaches always say about this sophomore is that he has great lateral movement. That lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays in the running game. He's at midfield. Gets out to around the 45. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. Yard line. And he makes it out to about the 17 yard line. We've got third and eight. Ball on the 17 yard line. He makes it to the 15-yard line. That's good for the game two yards. Fourth down. It's up, and it sails through the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. SMU is up by four. Zips it to the back, and he's level at the 35-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 35. Quick strike to the receiver. Tackle around the 49-yard line. Number 12 makes the tackle at the 49-yard line. That makes it first and ten. ten. This one will fall incomplete. Well, the offense catches a break here. That ball should have been intercepted there by the safety. So the quarterback gets the ball back here for this next down. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49. And that one's incomplete. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Quick pass. 
And he's tackled at about the 41. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. Fires out to his wideout. And he's taken down at the 35. Throws out to the back, and he can't hold on to it. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. He fights forward to about the 26. You don't need three guesses to figure out what they're going to run right here on fourth and short. his way to about the 18 and the fullback picks up the first huge gain there on the ground first and 10 ball on the 18 yard line they keep it on the ground with a tailback he makes it to the 18 yard line he lets it fly the defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Number one breaks up the pass. We're at play number nine of this current drive. He's looking for six. Doesn't get there. Number three was the intended receiver. So they decide to bring the kicker out to try to get three points before the half ends. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. SMU is up one. He's gobbled up in the backfield. So we've played two quarters. The Mustangs lead 14-13. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's it's fun. It's it's, it's living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a soccer player, please. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. 
He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. That's a great tackle at the 33. his way to about the 45. Look out, nobody there. And they finally push him out at the 14-yard line. down marker. And he hits him hard at the three. Second and goal. Three yards for the touchdown. Coming to you, coming to you. And a quick throw. He gets hit out of bounds around the three-yard line. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. Got a man open. Touchdown. for two in this situation. Caught it, and the conversion is good. A 10-play, 74-yard drive, and they add eight points to their total. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So the score now, 21-14. He's to the 20, and down he goes at the 27-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure, but they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Makes the grab, and he's got the first, and he is drilled at the 44-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 44. He unloads it. That close to being intercepted. He's 
got it with room to run. And he tackles him hard at the 29-yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 29-yard line. Wide open receiver, and it's incomplete. Falling back, complete. There's a very impressive open field tackle. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Quick strike, and he drops it. Gets out to about the 18 yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Throws a bullet over the middle. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. That's good for them. First and goal from the three. They're knocking on the door. And they make the stop right around the four-yard line. Tenth play of the drive. to a receiver, touchdown! Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. SMU is ready to kick it away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Kirk, not sure what went on in the locker room at halftime, but both offenses have really come ready to play in this third quarter. I think that's really what separates a good team from a great team, is being able to make the adjustments at halftime and to come out and, and being able to execute. And so far, we've seen both these offenses able to do that. really impressed with their last series they came out with a focus on the passing game and the offense got the job done we'll see if they have the same strategy here they'll knock him down for a loss never really had a shot they were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff second down at 12 ball on their own 23 he's gonna try and scramble he got three yards there on the scramble. He was playing the run all the way and was able to stop him quickly. Good job by that senior safety. Nearly intercepted. Yeah, the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. to about the 47-yard line. They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the money. From the 49-yard line, second down. 
He's tackled around the 47 yard line. So at the end of three, we got a stalemate right now, 21 apiece. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. They'll bring him down to the 38-yard line. From the 38-yard line, first down. And they push him out at the 31 yard line. That's a game seven. That'll bring up second and three. Quick throw incomplete. One of his receiver. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open. And everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it. And you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm, stepping, and throwing. And that time, he aimed the ball. It was incomplete. And they get nice yardage on that run. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. Picked off. What a crucial interception, and that'll change the whole landscape of this game. And now is the time to take advantage. This offense still has a job to do. They need to put points on the board to break this tie. But wow, do we have a great game or what? We've got a first and ten. Ball on the twenty. He's taken down at the twenty-one yard line. a screen pass. Gets it to the back. Tackle made at the 18-yard line. That brings us third and 12. Third and 12 coming up on this one. Ball on the 18. They come out in a five-wide set. Brought down. At about the 27-yard line. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. That makes it first and ten. First and ten. Ball on the thirty-eight. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. That'll bring up second and 11. Less than three minutes in the game. Needed that play and he dropped it. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. That makes it 
slings it. He's knocked out of bounds around the 28-yard line. That makes it fourth and inches. Come on, come on. Kicks away. And he just drilled it from long range. SMU to kick. He'll take it from the two. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 22. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. He makes it to the 25-yard line. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Makes the catch and look out. And down he goes at the 45-yard line. Just under two minutes in the game. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he's tackled around the 44-yard line. receiver brought down in the open field I think it was a great play call and it was very well executed any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play short yardage situation here it's second down and one he's scrambling and he's taken down at the 34. He scrambled and maybe picked up a yard there. Great play by the senior linebacker to step up in traffic and make that tackle. Tries to get around the corner. He's at the 20. And they finally tackle him at the nine-yard line. The defense is having a difficult time stopping this drive. Right now, they're doing enough to be in situations they want to be in, but they have to finish the job. And the plays start to add up, so we'll have to see if this defense starts to look tired out there. Decides to slide. The Owls call a timeout. That's their second of the half. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. And he just gets rid of it. Third and goal for the lead. Under a minute left in the game. Now he's scrambling, and he's going to be sacked. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Well, the kicker is on here, and if this goes, we've got a tie ball game. If not, this one's in the books. The kick is away, and they tack on three points. Rice kicked this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And 
and who's going to come to the forefront. We'll see who's got the most leadership. And he shoved out of bounds right around the 30. Second and five coming up here. Ball on their own 30. He airs it out. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Number seven was the intended receiver on the way. That'll make it good and Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Tackle around the 38-yard line. SMU's going to use their first time out of the half here. From their own 38-yard line. First down. Wants to go long and does. We're going overtime. So it looks like four quarters wasn't enough. We're heading to overtime. And here we are. We played four quarters, and we still don't have a winner, so we go to overtime. He gets hit out of bounds at the 19-yard line. They're about four yards away here on second down. Looks to the end zone. Fires quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. Well, that's how you want to start off an overtime period, to put the touchdown on the board and put the pressure now on them. They know they've got to match this touchdown if they want to stay alive. He makes the PAT. First and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Pushed out of bounds around the one-yard line. pressure on a kicker you never know about the jitters the extra point to tie this game up he splits the uprights with the extra point both offenses did well responding to the early pressure of overtime now we'll see who can play better defense first down 10 yards to go ball on the 25 Going for it all to the end zone. They'll get him for a loss, and that run got stuck. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle with the line of scrimmage there. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Watch the screen, watch the screen. Watch the screen. Yeah, yeah, three. Check, check, check. This one's going deep to the end zone. The defender had it and then dropped it. Kick is up. It's got the distance. And he got it. From the 25-yard line, it's first down. He's looking for six. Game-winning interception. Unbelievable.
So this one's final. Very well played by both teams today. Rice, 34, SMU, 31. As we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? You just can't underestimate a team when they're your rival, when today's game proved that. And nothing stings more than losing to the one team you want to beat in overtime. joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.